Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we will see one of the attribute that is job underscore type attribute in an autosys and more details of job underscore type attribute. For a normal JIL that is job information language, one of the mandatory attribute is job underscore type. For example, for command, if it is calling to a particular script it will be script by might be uh, any unix shell scripting or batch file or a powershell so for that job underscore type will be the value of that will be cmd for file watchers the job underscore type value will be fw ft or just f and for box the job will be job type will be box or just b these all are predefined in an auto says but there is an option to create job underscore type by the users that is user defined job type can also be created in an auto says this user defined job type is useful when multiple jobs are calling to a same particular script that script might be anything like example there is an ftp script so in that cases we can just define a user defined job type which in turn calling to a particular script instead of configuring the jill for each particular job and calling in that uh, command attributes to the particular script we can just create one of the user defined job type for example job type might be we can give name 0 to 9 so might be we will create job underscore insert underscore job underscore type 1 and we'll call uh, that command like it might be an ftp command we'll call that command so in this job underscore type we have to give value as 1 so in turn it will call to the ftp script these all we'll check with an examples okay just increase so to insert a new job type we have to use insert underscore job underscore type attribute here in an example insert underscore job underscore type value will be value it is given as one and this is calling this particular script temp wb it might be anything a powershell script unix shell script batch file so anything that is calling to the particular script and the description is also predefined so what we need to do for whenever we are uh, creating a job which is calling this particular script uh, that what is that temp underscore temp uh, slash uh, w w v so if the job is calling to this particular path or this particular script no, there no need to give the command attribute so just in the job underscore type attribute we have to give job underscore type value should be 1 so it will in turn call to the temp slash w v and no need to give the description attribute as well that will in turn take the description of this particular that is execute tmp w v this is for inserting the user defined job type suppose if you want to delete the uh, user defined job type in that case we have to use an attribute delete underscore job underscore type attribute so uh, in the previous example we have created a user defined job type that is one so if you want to delete that particular job attribute we can just simply give in the prompt you have to give jill press enter after that delete underscore job underscore type colon 
one press enter and uh, exit so it will delete the user defined job type suppose in the previous example it is calling a uh, path uh, temp slash wv suppose if you want to update uh, the job type which is calling that script instead of that script we can call to the any other script in that case we have to use update underscore job underscore type attribute we'll see with an example okay here is the example update underscore job underscore type give the value value varies from 0 to 9 we'll directly go to the example update underscore job underscore type one okay now command it is calling to the binary file and in turn it is calling to an FTP script and description is also predefined so it is the user defined job type is been updated to a new script now for a normal jail just while creating a job we have to give the job type as one that it in turns call the FTP script no need to again configure the command attribute description attribute nothing hope this video is helpful for you friends thanks for watching